Hey guys, today we are going to walk through how to use Confi UI for stable video diffusion. As you guys have saw many YouTube videos out there, there's image to video workflows, but then I twist a little tricks by using text to in my workflow. Without all BS, let's dive in. So I'm going to start a Confi UI like what we typically do, and I'm going to show the whole process of updating your Comfy UI and other custom nodes as well. And so let's clear the workflow diagram here. We start a empty one. And before that, remember to download the latest stable video diffusion model files in Hugging Face. I will provide download links in the video description. You guys can check it out. The articles in details, everything. So first I'm going to download this custom note called was node suite. We will need that for later on. So click the install button and wait for the install process going. After that, I'm going to update the other custom nodes and also the comfy UI itself. And we close that first and head over to the comfy UI folder. Now head over to the custom nodes subfolder. You are going to see this was node suite. Go into this folder and click the install bat file to install other necessary components for this custom node. Now wait for it is going and don't touch anything here. Once you see the progress finish and then you can close this command prompt windows and then go back to the main folder and start your comfy UI. So this way we are going to have the updated version of comfy UI and the latest custom nodes that we need for SVD. And, and we save a lot of time compared to update each one individually. Sometimes it might crash the comfy UI. So check out the error message in this window uh, and see what kind of error is that. And maybe you have to reinstall some of the custom nodes. So when we launch the comfy UI right here, I have my workflow running with text to video with stable video diffusion. I create a simple promote and I wrote photograph of a girl walking with a tiger. So a little tricks here that I did is that first it generates a text to image and then we bring that image to SVD processing to motion or animation video. Okay, let's go through each of the new SVD nodes on here. On this sections, we have the image only checkpoint loader. Now this is for us to loading the new SVD checkpoint models. Just same concept as well we did in the normal stable diffusions AI image. And then we have SVD image to video conditioning. Yeah. This is where you play around with a width and height video frames, the motion bucket ID and um, FPS. Lastly, the augmentation level. Normally, we change motion bucket ID, FPS and augmentation level to have different effect on our animations. You have to play around with different numbers in here and test it out. And then we have good oak sampler. That is just what we have in stable diffusion. And again, I will save this workflow files in our Patreon community for you guys. You can go there, check it out, download it. Links will be provide and the video description. Oh, and one more thing, this video liner CFG guidance. You can also play around with this number here to have different animation effect in your outcome video. So usually we play around with this CFG numbers and also the image to video conditioning for different animations effect or motions. But each image have different structure and style. So the numbers are not going to one size fit all. Okay, the process just finished rendering and let's see our first result here. Okay, so the SVD are able to detect that two objects and moving their bodies like a walking motions here, but the face of the tiger is not really clear. Well, maybe we have later a newer models can be um, improved that. So on the left side is just a very simple text to image workflow that I created. And I'm using SDXL model to render the image from my text prompt. So the most important thing is that we have the VAE decode from this text to image workflow. Then passing the output image to the SVD conditioning initial image. So that's how we use one little trick like this. And we can do a text to video workflow in Comfy UI. Okay, let's try another example and see what kind of animation it can render. 
Uh, this time, I'm going to try F1 racing car and see if they can detect the motion of a car or spin tire wheels. Now for the sampler method here, I'm using the UniPCBH2. And you can try out other sampling method here. Because this case sampler is just for the text to image workflow. And then I'm going to confirm the sampling steps, width, and height of the image. Okay, so on the output video here, the safe animate WEBP, you can set the FPS of the output video. But then please remember that you have to also set the video frames in the conditioning. So for example here, I am setting FPS 14th and I'm using 48 video frames. So the output aren't going to be three and a half seconds, something like that. And uh, one more thing, remember to set them width and height on the conditioning here that is matched with the text to image section. Okay, let's run this prompt first. Well, it is a pretty nice sports car. And I'm going to fast forward this loading process here. In the meantime, I would like to use the VHS video combined to output MP4 files. So it's easier for me to do video editing with MP4 file. So this is like the same concept as the stable diffusion image. We connect the output from VAE decode to the video combined custom node. And then we set the FPS and select MP4 as the format output. And the file name prefix here, you can change to whatever you like because by default set as animate diff. So you can set it as SVD something. So on the next January process, we will have then output video in here. Okay, the F1 car finished rendering and looks pretty nice. It is able to detect the smoke coming from rare tires and the tire spinning motions. And the car is actually moving on the racetrack. Okay, I, I give it a pass for this one. So let's play around another racing car motions here. Uh, now, so far, I can see that the uh, SVD are good at doing simple motions or some kind of easy to move objects animations here, like a one direction from top to bottom of left to right. But if you have a picture of the character or animal, it's kind of hard for SVD to render complex animations and also maintain their face, the eyes and nose. And, you know, the detail cannot be done perfectly. So let me fast forward this rendering. And in the meantime, I tidied up the workflow diagram and make it more clean and easier to understand. I'm going to group the text to image in one section and the SVD in the other section. Okay, so let's see. Once again, a video combine is coming from the VHS custom node. If you guys don't have this, you can go to Comfy UI Manager and download this search for VHS. Okay, the second F1 car animation rendered. This video is pretty nice. It have like a speed motion on the background. You can see the tire is moving, but then it's not twisted like using the other AI video generator. Let's check it out in the full size of it. Yes, this is awesome. Yay. Wow. And one of the details saying I can see is that the raising track audience rooftop is passed on the first one second and it, it doesn't repeat. So it's actually like a motion of the car passed by the audience stage. Wow. Awesome. So in here, I want to add one more load image in the middle of this workflow. And this is another trick for you to bypass the processing time of rendering text to image. You can directly load your existing image here and using the image to video workflow to generate animation. So once again, remember any image input into SVD. We are going to connect the image to the SVD conditioning initial image. So this is another F1 car animations here. It's kind of twisted the tire. I'm trying to prompt it like the car is drifting. Like the initial D if you guys have saw that Japanese cartoon. Uh ha ha. Ah. But then it's kind of a failed on the tire. Let's check out the full screen. Yeah, it twisted the image on the front tire. Doesn't look good in the last two seconds. And yes, I want to see if I can do something like the initial D that is drifting on the road. Oh, well, I will try it again later. Okay, so there you have it. And once again, if you want to use the text, you video process, simply connect the decode output image from text to image workflow to SVD. And if you want to use just the image, then using this load image connect to the SVD. So you, you guys think this is a practical workflow and you want to try it out, please go to check out our Patreon community. I will also keep update of other AI news in the upcoming videos. 
And thank you for my supporters in my Patreon community. You guys give me a very great support during the hard time of our main channel that got on hold by some crazy strikes. See you guys on the next video. Have a great day and keep animating.